Looking for a new way to ledge guard? Tired of this happening to you? Is it getting too hard to two-frame spike your opponent on their McDonald's Wi-Fi connection? Take a quick pause in the action in the northeast region between Seth and I Snacks and let you guys know during this viewing, you might see a little bit of a slowdown or buffering, but do not worry. The players aren't seeing that. That's not affecting them, and that will not affect the VODs afterwards, of course. A lot of <clears throat> levers and pullers being switched right now. Well then, look no further. I have the trick for you. It's simple but effective, and guaranteed on over 80% of the cast, including most top tiers. This is Falco's stall spike. Let me walk you through it. Many of you already know that if you hold down during your up special, you can force your character to not grab ledge. This gives many characters access to more tools and mix-ups using their up special to protect themselves while recovering. Getting off the ledge. And not least of all, ledge guarding. But did you know that you can also hold down the side specials for this as well? For the people who don't care about the frame data and just want to see how it's done, feel free to skip to the time code posted on the screen. Most of the time you grab ultimate's ledges, there are two frames the player does not have invincibility right at the start of their ledge grab. I say most of the time because there are ways around this for some characters. You can recover at certain heights to get around it. It, it doesn't matter. I'm not talking about that here. Maybe in another video, but let's just move on. Falco's side special Phantasm is active in his lower body from frame 18 to 27 in the air, meaning that it is active for a total of 10 frames. This includes the spike. That's right. So, since Falco's spike hitbox on his side special is active for so long, when you hold down at the ledge in just the right spot, you keep that hitbox at the ledge. This will not only two frame, but also just straight up beat or trade with most recovery options when timed correctly including teleports and tether recoveries. This is best used to cover low recoveries and works especially easily on recoveries with no hitbox or a small hitbox, like Sonic, Captain Falcon, and Pikachu, for example. However, you can use it in a few other ways too, such as catching air dodge recoveries, punishing ledgery grab, or catching someone holding ledge just a little too long. This last one works really well on scared players at high percent since invincibility runs out much faster. Now that I've gone over many of its uses, I wanna go over a few situations and setups for it. Drop ledge by pressing back and instantly side special. This hits lower and isn't as effective as two framing. Try to avoid this versus characters with a disjointed or large hitbox in their recovery. Runoff instant side special. This both two frames and beats most recoveries. You can mix up the timing a little bit to catch different recoveries. I'll show you that later in the video. Spike the opponent and cover their low recovery with stall spike. And I am sure you can find out many more ways to use this tool that I just haven't found yet. Now that you've seen what it can do, here's a list of all the characters it works on. Characters that are highlighted in green are almost guaranteed hit by this. The way it works can vary between beating the recovery out completely, or if it safely covers their two-frame option. Characters highlighted in yellow are difficult or inconsistent. Many of these can have it done to them, but the timing may be too difficult to hit, or the move often covers itself from harm, making it less viable. And characters highlighted in red, it's just not possible or not worth it. Some character timings are just so precise, and some simply can't be beat out, such as snakes, which require just a tiny bit more damage to break the armor. However, every character in the game can be two-framed in some way, whether it's beating their up special, catching their air dodge, or just catching their jump. Now I'm gonna go over each character in more detail, but first, if I help you out at all, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I love to make fun content. Look, he's looking at me. And plan on releasing more tech and tutorial videos in the future, especially if you all want more. Also, shoutouts to Vazzy. Without his completely voluntary help, I couldn't have made this video. Thanks, man. And if you know of more ways to use this tech or have a question, please leave a comment below. I'd love to bounce ideas off with you and always want to improve. Thank you for watching. Peace.
stick. I just wanna roll up, mm. keep that shit on the low low. I know that shit is fine, people don't wanna know no. I just sit down and vibe up, eat this shit like I'm no no. Baby, you just gotta sign up, fuck it, let's get the moolah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my niggas wanna get the bag, but I just wanna stay home and play Smash. Yeah, yeah.